In our previous part of the video, we have seen how we can write a procedure and we have seen a very simple example like a procedure we have written, we have we, we wrote a procedure that can display a string which is pointed by the DX register. So if you want to display different strings, then what we'll be doing is just before calling the procedure, we'll be, be, we'll be making this DX to point to that particular string and then we'll call display string. Yeah, that was, uh, that, that was quite a simple example. Now let's see uh, another example. Say for example, this time we want to write a procedure uh, that displays some numbers of stars um, on the screen as the output. What I mean by this is, let me give you a, an abstract overview of the thing first, plus what we want actually, okay? That is, suppose, if I, so let's give the procedure a name. So we want to call, say for example, we want to call the procedure display star, display star, say. Just consider we have a procedure whose name is display star. Then what we want to do is we want to before calling that procedure we want to store some number in ax register say for example i store three and then i call display star so in that case what i want my output to be i want my output to be x x a star star and star next time suppose i call this uh, you know ax i first store store means what move ax comma three okay for simplicity i'm writing ax is equal to say for example one and then again i write there call display display star so in that case it should it should show this one star on the screen so as you can see that this this number decides how many stars will be displayed clear okay then you can go one step further in the same go then say for example you store a character in the l register okay say for example you write dl equal to star or in this ag rate six it will be move dl comma star so in that case this is the output that you want then you don't change anything about dl or explicitly you are storing it say for example DS, dl equal to star and then ax equal to one and this will display one star no problem now this time suppose you do not want stars to come on the screen so you have written say for example dl is equal to capital a because the way star is a symbol a is also a symbol so you want to display capital a and then you want to display it 10 times on the screen and you can do like this initial setup this is how sort of you're passing parameters to the function and then you will be calling call display star now i just wrote display star in that way and then as as an output you 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 expect this thing to happen a a a a a five times another five times another five times there okay so uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, okay, five. So that is the output that you want. Got the point? So this is the sort of the requirement. Now let's see how we can actually write it in 8086, okay? Okay then, let's begin. Okay, let's start with the basic skeleton once again. So this is the basic skeleton of any 8086 programming till now we have been writing and then what i want to do is okay let's now do the program so first thing is we want to write a procedure so for that reason say let's give a name so display star or display stars and this is a procedure so we'll be writing it in this way and then the last statement is uh, instruction is return instruction and then display stars and procedure okay so this is the basic skeleton you will be you will be starting with done your basic is ready now what we want is we want this display procedure to assume like you now this is comments again i'm writing so assume assume number of times number of times in ax and we'll also assume the character character to be displayed character to be displayed displayed is in the l register okay suppose this is our assumption and then we are ready to go now see how many times we want to we want to display the num that particular character whatever it is there in dl as many times you know the value of ax register so you can use a loop and you know you can write loops in many different ways so i'll be directly using the loop instruction so for that reason what i want is actually i want my counter to be there in cx register so for that reason i'll be copying ax to cx okay i want like cx is the default counter 
for loop instruction since i'm going to execute loop uh, that's why i'm writing instruction in short way okay so that's why I'm, I'm i'm storing first whatever it is the number of times that you store in cx once it is done uh, i guess it's very simple now so what you have to do is you want to display one one character at a time so when you want to display character on the screen the first thing that you have to do is you have to store the character in the L register and we already know that the character is in the L so no need to worry about it and then we have to make use of interrupt service routine so to display a character first thing is we have to store 0 to H in a H register okay that's how we do the thing and then we have to call in 21 H that's all and that will display a character or whatever the character it is there in DL on the screen. The thing is that we want to repeat this thing. So we'll be writing loop instruction and then go back to go back to this particular look, I know block. I mean, this particular instruction uh, again and again till CX becomes zero. So let's let's call it, say, for example, loop one. This is not an instruction or anything I'm writing. It's just a label that I'm giving. And um, that's all like loop and then loop one. Okay, that is we want to repeat this block of code, these two lines of code again and again till the CX becomes zero. Done. Our definition of the function is done. Now it's time to call the function. So let's do it. Say, for example, I want to display, let's check it for once. I want to display uh, five times, I want to display five times the character, the character, say, for example, star um, on the screen. So for that reason, this is done. This is our initial values and then we'll be calling this function so call display stars and we know like we do not want a free fall to happen so for that reason we'll be after that this is the, sort of the end of the program from there we want to go to the end of the program so jump and uh, terminate program you know this part that's all this is the code and let's execute this program and check so tasm same name so the link and then execute. You can see one, two, three, four, five stars is, are coming on the screen as an output. So seems like it is working. Let's try with something else. Say we want to display five stars and display stars. And then uh, we want to display something else. Say for example, I want to display some nine times the capital letter A on the screen, okay? In my, if I do that, you know, as you can guess, these stars and A's, they will be coming on the same line. So if you want them to come on a different line, then you can, you have to fix that problem. Okay. But for the time being, let's say one line, they are coming. That's fine. No problem. Let's first see the output. This, going and this. So stars and the nine A's are coming together. So if you want each line to be displayed on a different line, then what modification you will do? You will do like, okay, you'll repeat through the process, but before returning, after coming out of the loop, before returning, you want to display a new line character, like display a new line, new line character. Like it will always happen, say, no matter what, what character, how many times you're displaying, at the end of the day, it will always bring the cursor to the beginning of the next line. And how do you do that? So for that reason, it will do like, uh, that's all i mean i just want to display a specific character on the screen that's all and what is that specific character and that i want to store in dl and that specific character is the character whose ascii code is 10. so that's how i think our problem will be solved let's see let's see let's see uh this 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 now see stars and a's they're coming on different lines and also we can now control like see here with this uh, these values there like with the help of this ax and dl register actually you can control the output of uh the the function display stars okay guys then that much only if you have understood up to this point i think you people got the idea about procedures in the next part of the video we'll be seeing how to display how to write a procedure that will display a number on the screen we have seen in our part 14 and 15 like in general how to display a number on the screen maybe unsigned number maybe signed number that part we have seen we have understood the logic and now 
we'll be making use of the same logic now uh, you know to create a procedure explicit procedure the task of the procedure will be to display the number whatever it is uh, on the screen all right okay then guys that much only in this part of the video see you guys with some with that content in the next video have a nice day